So guys, in today's video, we're going to be picking up a new coop for the little rescued quail I found on the train tracks. As you can see, for this little quail, this cage is so big. We're going to put him in his coop in three, two... What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be picking up a new coop for the little rescued quail I found on the train tracks. So guys, I've been messaging this person on OfferUp about this customized coop that they built themselves and we came to an agreement on a price and guys, we're going to be going to pick that coop up today. So guys, I'm in the car and I am ready to go pick up this new coupe. And guys, we have a 40 minute drive ahead of us and a 40 minute drive back. So I'll just catch you all once I get back to my house. One eternity later. All right guys, so we got this entire cage unloaded. You can see for this little quail, this cage is so big. Now guys, let me show you a couple things we can do with this cage. So right here, this is a little door right here. Now the people that I bought it from actually customized it themselves. So right in here, I can open this on up and it is a little ramp. So this little guy can crawl inside when he needs to cool down from the hot South Florida sun. Also, this entire thing opens so I can check on the little guy. We have a little cute door with a window right there. And then, guys, look right here. Right here, we're able to pick this up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I didn't notice the lock, guys, but we're able to pick this up right here. And right in here, we have a nesting box. So if this little quail is a girl, it can lay some eggs in there that obviously won't be fertile. But we're going to have a whole little nesting box set up. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take this entire cage right here. I'm going to obviously get help, and we're going to go set it up in my yard. So guys, we got the whole entire coop set up right here. So it's in the shade a little bit, but with this whole entire covered coop area, it's gonna be perfect for cooling down these babies. You can see Zeus, Milo, and Coda have joined us for the fun today of building and putting this coop all together. Now what we need to do is we need to get some hay, put it inside, and make a nice cozy home. Now guys, I just went into the shed. Watch out, Coda, you can get your head caught, buddy. And the other day, I got a bunch of hay from Jacob's house, and it's gonna be perfect for putting in the little coop and putting in the nesting area so all i'm gonna do is we're gonna head over and we're gonna start setting it up so i got that bucket of hay right here now guys the convenient part of having this top of the cage which is really great is when you open it right here and you need to clean it you don't have to hold it up you can prop it up just like this and there we go it is nicely propped up and look guys i'm not even holding it i don't have to do a thing and it's completely just holding itself now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this hay and i'm gonna start loading it in there we're just gonna put it on the bottom just like this. If you guys come look over here, we're gonna fill this entire inside of the coop. So it's nice and cozy for this little quail. We're just gonna spread it around just like that. We also can't forget the inside of the nesting box right here. Okay, we still have a good, decent amount of hay to use. We're just gonna throw this on in here. Now guys, I got a decent amount. You can't even see the bottom. It is perfect. So now I'm going to do is we're going to move to the nesting box right here. Now, unfortunately, with this nesting box, we do not have something to prop it up. Guys, I stand corrected. We do have something to prop this up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That is so convenient. Now, guys, I'm just going to take this hay, start breaking it apart, and start filling these little boxes up. Now, we want to make it as comfortable as possible for this little quail. So this little quail feels nice and cozy. And maybe, maybe if it's a girl, she will want to lay some eggs. Now I'm just gonna break this off. Do the same exact thing to the other side. Make sure it's nice and perfect, guys. We have a perfect coop all set up for this little quail. You can see everything is nice and padded right here. It is nice and perfect. We put the perfect amount of hay. Now I might need to add more, but we're just gonna go get the quail. We're gonna shut everything and we're gonna see how this little quail likes his new home. So guys, the last and final step we have to take to making this coop complete is we have to get the food and water bowl. Now, since there's a little food left from breakfast, we're gonna put it on right here so it doesn't get wet and we must fill this up. Now this little jar comes out right here and we're just gonna have to fill it up. You can see Zeus wants some water right here. So we're gonna give Zeus some water. Hey, thirsty buddy. Oh, look here, there's water. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, you are so perky. Here's some more water. Here, oh, your mouth is wet. Ah! Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse
rinse out this jar right here pour the water in here and now we're gonna start filling it up now i don't like to fill it up all the way so i just fill up whoa 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 zeus this is not your water buddy you can't have that i fill it up like this and now what i do is i take the bottom just like this i try to screw it on and now when you flip it just like this really fast the water starts coming out which is perfect and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start heading to the coop we're gonna put it inside and we're gonna introduce the quail to his new home a few moments later so guys we got the little quail right here and you can see his eye is doing so much better and he has become so sweet he won't even run away right here he is just letting me pet him let me do whatever he is the sweetest little thing ever and now we're gonna put him in his coop in three two there you go buddy what do you think guys he is walking around he is getting used to his new coop right now he does not know what to think but he has a lot more area to just run around to forage through the grass and find some bugs and to climb up in here to cool off and to hang out when he wants what do you think about it buddy this is your new home now guys since this little guy is not used to his new coop yet it's gonna take him some time to get used to it he's still unsure of it it's new territory new area that this guy has never seen before so he's still unsure, so it's going to take about a couple days for him to adjust properly. But guys, he has no idea that this little common area is right here with the little lamp. So since he has only one eye, guys, his sense of direction is not that well. So we're going to help him out a little bit. So I'm going to open this on up, and I might have to just crawl on in here and show this little guy what this is. Come here, little guy. You're okay. Look. Look. Oh my goodness, you have a little creeper here. Look. Look, go, 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 go. Guys, look at him. Look at him. Let's open the top right here. Let's see what he's doing. Hello, little buddy. This is your new little home now. Oh my goodness. And he is out. So obviously it's going to take him some time. He's not really used to it. It's a whole new area for him to explore. So I obviously don't expect him to be totally comfortable just yet conclude today's video we completely set up the new coop this little guy has to still get used to it so we're gonna leave him out here for a little bit on his own so he can properly adjust to his new home but guys if you all enjoyed today's video give this video a big thumbs up and guys i want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below a name for this little queer i want you to comment down below a name for a girl and a boy and in the next video we're going to determine what he is if he is a male or a female and I'll shout you out if I pick your name in the next video with this little guy. Now, if you want to check that video out and all sorts of other animal videos, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.